Hey guys, like I'm bringing you guys another video today. Uh, today I'm gonna be looking at some figures that I purchased from. Oh. Hey guys, I had some camera difficulties there, but it, we're back. Um, I have some more custom figures that I purchased from uh, Republic Bricks. He did a second wave, and I picked up a handful of them as well. So we're gonna jump into these, and just for context, he is making custom figures now. Um, he also is selling weapons from Clone Army Customs. The way he does his stuff, from what I understand, is he makes the figures, he prints them front, back, arm, leg, leg printing if he wants to. And then from there, the helmets are from Clone Army Customs, and the weapons are outsourced as well. But all together, you get a cheap product that is easily available and that anyone can get into. So we're going to go ahead and get into the first one that I have right here. Let's see who I got in this one. So in so he did a bunch of pile first ones. So right here we have some cloth for Commander Cody. Or I mean, not, all right, guys. In this instance, I'm now switching to playing only Minecraft. No, so I got um, I got uh, why did I, I say Cody? I can't get over that. Uh, Commander Rex, you can see that by his helmet right there. And then I also got a Jesse figure, as you can see by the red uh, jetpack trooper, uh, arc trooper piece on the top here. And then on the second one I have here, I'll get in here, grab this. I managed to get a Commander Thorn helmet here. Commander Thorn, captain of the. I believe he's a cap, not the commander of the Coruscant Guard. And then I also got a... Um, it's Echo and... Oh man, I can't remember his name. I bought him earlier and he was a knockoff figure. Stand by. Hey guys, I am back. Um... So I had my helmets confused. So Jesse is this guy. Um, he has the the all basically almost all blue helmet with the Imperial Republic logo on the top. I almost said Imperial. And Fives is the Arc Trooper with the red stripe on top of the red diamond. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these together, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these figures. So let's go and get into that. All right, guys, so I'll be completely honest. I have no idea how to cut these capes out. Um, I might need to get an X-Acto blade or do some Googling to figure out how and where to cut these because they're not cut. Um, so buy everywhere if your figure comes with a cape. Be prepared to have to cut it and potentially ruin this yourself. Um, so I'm not going to be cutting these. What I will be showing off is just two of the figures because I'm going to leave Rex and Thorn in their containers until I'm able to cut these out until I can properly show them to you all. But um, the figures are, again, very nice quality. I will say that right now. I have Jesse and Fives here. Jesse, Fives, I got it right this time. Um, they have arm printing. They have leg printing. They are detailed figures. And the only complaint that I have about these figures is these figures feel more stiff than the wolf pack troopers I got and I don't know if it's just like I don't know if he sits down and actually like moves them at all but they all do come in pieces um I think if you were to pay an extra five dollars on the website to get figures that were already assembled I think that'd be nice I'd pay that um like a flat five to seven dollars depending on how many figures you buy but is one of those things like I do appreciate the attention to detail on the entire figure um, but let me go ahead and get these cut out I'm gonna get these together and hopefully I can show you guys a completed product all right guys so it's like my empire Bird here bringing you guys a final part of that video I've only ended up doing two of these figures I will work on the other ones later but for context here is two figures that I bought from the previous haul that are just clone troopers that have no cloth and here are the two figures with the cloth. It took me a little bit of time to cut these out and make them look nice just the way I want them to. Um, so I do need to backpedal on a little bit. So the helmets are Clone Army Customs. However, the 
cloth is actually UV Customs. Um, they make specific like cloth and like stickers for clone troopers. So it's a bit of a hodgepodge of things here, but overall it does deliver a quality product. I do think it's nice. Um, I will say if you guys want to get better cloth choices, Clone Army Customs does make their own cloth pieces that are already pre-cut. And they are made, I believe, out of rubber or oil or hard plastic. Um, so they don't bend and break or they, they, they don't, they're, they're not like, they, they're, they're more molded and fabricated properly. Um, they're more closely related to how Lego does theirs, but UV Customs does do a good job. These look really good. The only thing that you're gonna have to do with these is over time, you'll have to hold these for a while because the, what, the way these are supposed to look is the chest piece is supposed to be on the, the, the pauldrons here are supposed to go flush with the body. And it's just one of those things with these, as the, since they're just cloth pieces, they don't have that same uh, transformation, but this is supposed to be like a cone here. Um, so it's something you could do. You could actually press these and hold them in places and they'll, they'll fit and they'll look nice. Um, just a little bit of extra detail, but the figures do look great. Uh, something else is these don't have actual heads. They're just using placeholders, but honestly, you don't need them. Um, I don't know. If you really want a helmet, I know there are other websites that sell helmets and hair for each of the figures, but it's not something that's really important for me because I will always have them with their helmets on. So, Jesse and Fives uh, look really good, leg printing, arm printing, everything. I absolutely think they're worth the money. Like I said, I'll be doing the other two figures probably sometime soon. I just need to figure out how to do it. And I might do a comparison with the Captain Rex I have from Clone Wars and then this Captain Rex, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down the bottom. Let me know if you guys have already purchased some of these from Republic Bricks. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below if you guys are getting any of these figures. And we'd love to hear from you. You guys have a good rest of your evening. See ya.